93 overall limited Rob Gronkowski. Oh! Turns out the Gronk prestige at Wheel of Mutt was insane. The strongest promo in Madden Ultimate Team right now is the cover athletes promo. Basically, any player who's ever been on the cover of Madden might be getting an insane card. I definitely did not expect Gronk to get one this soon, though. And honestly, it didn't even cross my mind at all. I don't know why it did it. In season one, we prestige Rob Gronkowski, which means I'm always entitled to the best version. And Gronk just got a 93 limited. Oh my God, 92 speed, insane route runs, spec catch. And this is just getting started. Every single 93 overall cover athlete, the limited one, gets awesome discounted abilities and insane insane x fact so this Gronk has a discounted tight end apprentice. One AP, I will definitely be using that. I could put tank on him too. I could do a whole lot of things here. I'm gonna start with tight end apprentice and then X Factors. Take a look at all the insane options we have. So there's collector's edition Vanguard, which starts on and stays on for eight plays. But as we know, some of these playbooks I've been using don't have I formation. So what's awesome about this Gronk is I actually have other options compared to the 88 overall where I could only use Vanguard. I could go red zone threat X Factor which starts on for eight plays. I could go unstoppable third down threat collector's edition. So these are my only two new options. Red zone threat is improved catching versus single coverage in the red zone. Unstoppable third down is basically double me, but only on mid-range catches versus single coverage on third down. I think we're gonna run this. I'm gonna try it. I don't wanna force the ball to Gronk on third down, but it's definitely a new ability. I don't think we'd be doing ourselves justice if we didn't try it out 93 rob gronkowski holy shit so before this episode even starts i get to upgrade gronk i will say though the timing is such a bummer so you guys saw last episode where i got greg olson i recorded that video a day before gronk came out i had no idea they were gonna drop gronk so it was it's honestly a huge bummer that i ended up getting greg olson because now i just have two absolutely insane tight ends but obviously the starter needs to be gronk and gronk with the cover athlete boost is up to a 94. You'll notice I have tier three cover athlete boost because I have Gronk and Ray Lewis. So all the cover athletes are getting awareness, acceleration, and play rent right now. And then obviously we got to switch around our abilities. The beauty of having Gronk here now is Greg Olson previously was two AP for tight end apprentice. I now get tight end apprentice and third down threat for one, which leaves one AP open on this team. For the one AP, I'm going to put recuperation on A-chan. I'm kind of scared that this dude's going to fumble the ball a lot. So let's just keep his fatigue up if we can. I don't really know how good recuperation is, but for one AP, you really can't get much. So here's what the team looks like now. We got Gronk as our starting tight end. We got Olsen as the backup, which is it's actually a disgusting tight end duo we have. Obviously, Johnny Football, A-Chan. We got Zay Flowers, Jamar Chase, OBJ. I'd like to eventually get a replacement for Zay Flowers, but first and foremost, we got to work on our center left guard and right tackle, and that's just on the offense. Defensively, there's a lot of things we can do. Derek Thomas is not a pass coverage linebacker. As saying Bassey and Jerry Jacobs are truly outdated, even Kyir Elam is, but he's been playing really well. So I don't know if I want to rule him out. Rob Gronkowski got two cards before Nick Bosa got one. That's a crime. Jacob Slade obviously was not built for a playoff run and neither is 81 overall Bruce Smith. So we've got a little bit to do here. Our current record is four and one. We are one game away from making it to the playoffs. So I do feel great right now. All right, boys, let's get our first wheel spin in. On this episode of Wheel of Mutt, tons of new cards in the game. I know there's Team Diamonds as well. It's all on the wheel. Wow, we're gonna go Immaculate Grid back to back. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't think I'm going eight for nine on this one. On Eagle Seahawk. God, this is actually gonna be really hard. V Rashad Penny and a Titan Eagle AJ Brown. Honestly, those are the only two that I even come to the top of my head right now. Raven Niner should be Crabtree. Sorry, ass receiver like Crabtree. I honest to God, that might be the only three I can get. Oh, oh, oh. Geno Smith's been in the league a long time. Geno should be here. Yeah. Who's a Niner Giant? Who's a Niner Eagle? Who's a Giant Titan? Titan. Who's a Seahawk Raven? Oh my God. Are you guys ready for some kicker lore? I think the only thing I can get left is Randy Bullock. Holy shit. Or no, is he Titans Giants? Oh wait, no, that, he is Titans Giants. I'm pretty sure Randy Bullock goes one of these two. Th that's literally all that I can do. Oh, 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 fucking Terrell Owens. T 
T.O. T.O. was an eagle, right? Thank God. Oh, if I missed that, I would have got cooked. That is it. That is all that I can do. Tannehill, did you ever, did you ever appear on the Ravens? Uh, who's like a backup on the Ravens that might have just appeared somewhere else? Maybe Robert Griffin was a free agent. All right, we end with uh, six of nine. Honestly, better than I thought I was going to do there. Six out of nine. So six players times 15,000 coins is 90,000 coins to spend on one player. Definitely could have been worse. 90,000 coins. I think we pick up a left guard for 90k. We could get a really solid left guard in there for Andres P. That or we get a D tackle too. Dude, I, we've been running the ball so well and we've got 80, an 83 overall guard in there. Let's let's boost him a little bit. So Lakin Tomlinson is a pass protecting guard. His run block? No, not him. I want somebody who can run block. We're gonna go with the Giants left guard, Shane. It's definitely an upgrade on Andres P. I love to see it side by side. So Andres P, he is better. I mean, this isn't a big shocker, but he's better in literally every stat. And I absolutely love to see that. I love running the ball too. Running the ball is so satisfying. That is a bummer though. If I had gotten one more correct, I could have got Russ Grimm and Russ Grimm is fucking nasty. If I simply wasn't MM casual, I would have gotten that correct and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. All right, boys. First wheel spin gets us a left guard. Second wheel spin, low key. If this could get me a D tackle two, well, it will be able to give me a D tackle too. The question is how good? It's been a long time since we busted out the wheel of coins, boys. There is a jackpot on this. I've never gotten it, but if we get it, but if we get it, holy fuck, you better shit on that bitch. Oh! There is officially no budget. I can buy whoever the fuck I want. Oh, so it's, it's a jackpot is what it is. Now we've got not a problem, but a problem of success. What the hell do I buy? Okay, so there's two things here. There are positions that need help, but then there's positions like quarterback where, dude, I could just go get any quarterback in the game. We don't have to rock Johnny Football. But Johnny Football's taking us here. Why would I mess with Johnny Football right now? I've already got the exact user middle linebacker that I want. I don't want to switch him out. I could get a right outside linebacker who's crazy good. Honestly, I think we just get the best quarterback corner that is available to me. Yeah, that's gotta be the most important position right now because then I can take a Sang Bassey just out of the lineup and then move Jerry Jacobs and Kyir Elam down. I think D-Tackle 2 would be a waste. We've already got such a good D-Tackle. Why am I gonna buy another insane D-Tackle here? Oh my God, am I really about to get both of the limited cover athletes? We're gonna have Gronk and Richard Sherman. 93 speed, 94 zone, 92 man, 93 plus. He's 6'3", 195. I don't see how I don't buy this. Actually, yes, I'm buying that. 2.77 million coins for the best corner in the game. Madden 15 Collector's Edition Richard Sherman. And honestly, this couldn't be better. This was my first ever Madden. I know that sounds crazy, but truly, like, I started playing Madden, making content on Madden Mobile 15, which was Madden 15 Richard Sherman. Yeah, shut down Collector's Edition inside shade. Collector's Edition, un unstoppable universal coverage. So these two are different. These are X factors that start the game on, but then you have to reactivate them. But then unstoppable universal so coverage is like Derwin's X Factor. Or once you get it, it stays on, but you've got to get it. Force five incompletions or TFLs. That's an insane amount. But I wonder if you got one interception, would that count? Because you know when you give universal coverage to a player, then they get a pick and then they're they're all red the rest of the time? I'm gonna try this ability out. Unstoppable universal coverage. If he gets an interception and it activates, this shit is OP as fuck. But if I actually need five incompletions, that's never gonna happen. So I guess we're gonna find out. And then he has a discounted flat zone and pick artist. He'll never be in a flat zone for me. He's always going to be in a deep blue, but one AP pick artist. I like that a lot. We've got one more wheel spin. Holy shit. We're four and one. If we win here, we keep Sherman and we go to the playoffs. The good news is we keep Gronk no matter what. Ooh, three times 87 plus, but we get to keep one player. So during the Blitz promo, there were tons of packs. I just sat them on my unopened for Wheel of Mutt. And right here, I've got this 87 plus elite player. I get to open three of these right now, and I get to keep one player out of those three. Let's find out. I swear to God, if I pull Richard Sherman. First one's 87, Luke Keekley. This Luke Keekley does get Lurk Artist. I could, put it, I could put him in for Derek Thomas, and he'd probably be a lot better. Holy shit. He's back. He's back. That's definitely the, that 100%. That's my first option. Unless I get a D tackle here. Team of the week. Travis Etienne. Sorry, buddy. You're not the guy. Full circle on Bruce Smith. So the only thing we really didn't get today was a D tackle too, but 81 Bruce Smith's going to come out for 88 Bruce Smith. You got to love how the game won't let me put Bruce Smith in for Bruce Smith. Okay. Bruce Smith is in. And then let's go to specialist. Make sure this is correct. Rush right ends. Bosa. Rush left end is Bruce Smith. Ray Lewis is the sub linebacker. A-Chan takes over all running back spots. Jamar at slot. And should my slot 
corner be Jacobs? I'm going to keep it as Jerry Jacobs because he's played really, really well. I don't want to mess with it. I think this team is ready to go. 7 of 7 AP on offense. We got Gronk. We got Shane. And then on defense, we're 9 of 9. Vince Wilfork, the new Richard Sherman, Kraus, Ray Lewis, Mosley Brooks. Holy shit. Oh my God. Our new top three is going to look insane. Challenge wheel. Talk to me and talk to me nicely. Ah. Shit. I've never gotten this one, and this is not a day to try something new. No, no, no. It is a day to try something new. No rushing touchdowns allowed. He can pass for eight touchdowns. He just can't run one in on me. To me, this also means I cannot let anyone get to the one-yard line because QB Sneak is so good. If they get to the one, they're going to QB Sneak it. Got Mike Vick, Eric Berry, Sauce Gardner, and he's going up against Mommy's fucking credit card. Holy shit. I just stuck my cock on the table. I said, you're poor. Let's play ball. Oh my god, I love poor shaming 12-year-olds on Madden head-to-head. -head. It's just what I do. I want to see the Sherman in action so bad. Where's Sherman? Where's Sherman? I'm using Sherman. I don't care. I know this makes no sense, but I'm going to do it. Does he send anyone to Sherman's zone? He doesn't. You fraud. Oh, he goes Kyle Pitts, who's going to get a lot of yards right there. Still on Sherman. Go to the post. Go to the fucking post so I can pick this shit over with Sherman. What are you doing? God, Richard Sherman, don't test me. My mom had to get a new credit card for that shit. Now we go Gronk. Gronk's got tight end apprentice. We're going Gronk. Oh, is he open? Honestly, he still is. I'm going to Gronk anyway. Shit. Yeah, he's going to come down. Yup. High ball. Oh, Eddie Jackson breaks it up. Going to call some audibles here. I'm going to put Gronk on a post. Oh, look at Gronk. What a route. What a catch. Fight. Is that a first? Fourth and inches. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to go inside zone split. A chan. Oh, no. He ran. Commit. Nice play. He's going to go play action. He's going to throw right into a nice little zone. And he'll pick it up. First and 10. Hopping on Derwin James here. He's going to run a read option like Vic. Who's going to make a nice move. Takes a hit stick. Does not fumble. First and 10. Another read option. And... Wow, the blocking on that's insane. That was my fault, though. I, I came down Paul Krause. But why, why is the blocking on that so good? And just like that, we've already lost our challenge rule. Uh-oh. I have no choice but to win the game now. We'll go A-chan here. That was a bad ball. Definitely should have gone deeper on that. Ooh. User playmaker, Zay Flowers. And we got Gronk blocking. Tight, tight window for Jamar. Caught. What? I should not have that. I don't know how I do. Oh, what a cut. A-chan, nice juke. Yeah, he's not respecting the run even a little bit. Let's hit him with pin-pull sweep. One of my all-time favorites. Great block. Get behind it. That play is sick. I've never, I've never seen it in any playbook before, but I love it. All right, first and 10. Could be another read option, low key. He goes Patterson gets rocked by Derek Brooks. This is the read option formation. Does he do it again? Yep, read option. I'm over here with Derwin. Not today! Come on! And Big Man's Rumble is still up! Big Man Rumble! Big Man Rumble! Big Man Rumble! Oh my god! One of the heaviest players of all time. Fully knew he was going to that. Came over with Derwin for the monster hit. Fucking pack watch! 14 in the first quarter and the ball at half. On four minute quarters too, bro. On four minute quarters. No. No! That's pitiful, man. That's actually pitiful, bro. You're running read option in the open field. You're not sliding. Of course you're gonna fumble. It's been a while since we spun the rage school wheel, so let's get in a good one right here. We definitely earned that, bro. The user hit stick, the Vince Wilfork return. Ooh, I like that. Plus three, one offensive line play. Honestly, there's two ways I could go about this. I could either take David DeCastro to like a 92. I could take Malata to a 92, Shane to a 91, or I take Ryan Kelly to an 88, or Lucas Niang to an 89. I think I'm going to take Lucas Niang to an 89. I feel like right tackle is probably more important than the center. So I can get any 89 overall right tackle. 89 right tackles. There's Rob Havenstein. And there is Rob Havenstein. That is literally the only option. So we're going to take him. I know this is a weird situation to wheel a mutt. Because that was truly a rage quit. That was only one four minute quarter of football. So here's what we're going to do. I'm spinning the challenge wheel again. So we'll get a brand new challenge. I already failed my last one. So... 
I don't think it's fair to run that back. A new challenge. Oh, shit. I like that one. I need two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns. And I'm going to run a game back right here. So there's two things I could do with this game. I could complete my challenge and I could get a 40 bomb for the immaculate pack. I mean, we already earned our players. We got a true rage. Quiz. Ray Lewis, Derek Brooks. Mm, big hit out of Ray Lewis. These abilities are really confusing, though, because I thought Ray Lewis's ability started on. Apparently, that is not the case. It says I need five tackles to activate it, but I already got one with him. He's going to hand this off. Oh, we can't blow it up. Going to check down to Barry, who's going to get rocked by Derek Brooks. I love this linebacker duo, dude. Try and bait him into making a bad throw. Oh, you didn't want to throw that to 81? Come on, look at 81. Keep checking down, we're looking at different shit, man. Second and nine. Let's send some heat. He's being, he's playing so slow. Speed him up. I like that. Hey, nice hit, Derwin. Third and six. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Ray. Oh, on the camera angle. On this camera angle. <laughs> trying to get to the like superstar camera angle we just got a pick six on the fucking sideline angle bro whoever richard sherman was guarding was so butt naked open oh my god all right here we go boys 40 bomb 40 bomb 40 bomb 40 bomb drunk oh Although, wait a second. That's actually bad for the challenge wheel. That's bad for the challenge wheel. I needed two passing and two rushing touchdowns, and that is neither. That is a defensive touchdown. This is the angle I wanted. Rifles it to the middle. Switch on to Derwin. I'm playing on this angle the whole time. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, nice play. Let's get on Ray Ray in case he runs left side. Okay, right up the gut. Oh, all right. Barry's in. Does he go for two? He goes field goal and he shakes it. Down two. I get ball at half. If you didn't see the episode, these are $1,000 trading cards. If I ever drop a 40 bomb, I get to open a box. I'll give away every single card to you guys. And I get to keep one player for the Wheel of Mutt lineup. So that's why I'm looking for a 40 bomb. Ooh, why does this PA cross just look so free? Hold. Oh, we go Gronk. God, he's so good. Not used to Gronk getting that kind of separation, but this is not the same Gronk as before. Money Manziel's got fucking woo, daylight. Dodges the big hit. One rush, 20 yards. Let's go Bunch. I feel like Bunch is probably the fastest offense you can make. Oh my God, you're cooked. You're fucking cooked. Big juke. Oh, and he almost stays up, but not quite. First and goal. Let's go Verts again. I'm gonna put Gronk on the out route. Holy shit. All right, we need the two-point, though. It's absolutely crucial that we get the two-point. I think my best two-point play, as cheesy as this is going to be, is stretch alert bubble. Go oh, H.A. That's so funny. First and ten. Let's get it, Ray. Oh, you're not Ray. You're Derek Brooks. You're Ray. Checks low. Gronk gets hit hard. But he hangs on to the ball. Nice play. Hand off Barry. Oh, Vince. Vince Wilfork is all over it. But Ray was there in case he wasn't. He drops back. Oh, heater! Bruce Smith! Fourth and 12. I'm calling a timeout here. Here is conceded the game. Oh, that was our best chance. I think we're truly going to have to earn it in two different ways. One, it's going to have to be a slug out. It's going to have to be a really good game. And two, it's going to have to be in Mutt Champions. So if you take a look, I'm in the playoffs in regular season. I'm also in the All Madden playoffs. But I need five minute quarters. Oh, I need five minute quarters if I'm going to drop a legit 40 bomb. Because the only way I'm going to do it in four minute quarters is if I'm playing someone who's dog shit. Like that guy, that guy, I was beating that guy on reverse camera angle. He knew that shit was a wrap. Rather than spin a second Rage Quit wheel, I'm just going to open one pack as if we completed our challenge. I'm going to go with the Harvest Fantasy Pack. We really just need anyone who can play D-Tackle. So either a D-Tackle or... No, you can't. You can't. Yashushi cannot. Abraham Lucas cannot. J.K. Scott, you cannot play D-Tackle. I'm pretty sure. And you can. You can play D-Tackle. Hey, Sean Robinson's actually pretty nice to, uh, to pick that up right there. Our next Harvest player, Abraham Lucas. Final Harvest player, Danny Pinter. So you don't help us either. You two don't help me. Hey, Sean Robinson can be D-tackle too. Sean Robinson is a 76 overall at D-tackle. That's, that's really not that bad. It takes my team up 89 overall. I love this team so much. This is my favorite Wheel of Mutt team ever. Gentlemen, you could not ask for a better episode than we got today. The only thing I want to check in on is this Ray Lewis ability. It's the only thing I don't really understand right now. Ray Lewis's X-Factor Avalanche cover athlete says six plays on. Oh, once activated. That's why. 
I have no idea why I didn't read that before. Okay, so his does not start the game on. I think it's only the 93 overall limiteds that are supposed to start the game on with anything. I understand now. Thanks, L. Wow, this team is good. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.